Hey, let's that. bring in Grace Randolph from behind the trailer. She has some tips for us this weekend. Hi, Grace. Hi. Uh, so for the sports drama, some people might be into draft day. Give us the details about that. Well, as you're saying, it's a beautiful weekend, but I mean, this is a, a very fun, light movie. It's, it's the perfect viewing for like an afternoon. You want to have some air conditioning. I don't know if we're at air conditioning level yet, uh, but you know, Kevin Costner's likable, and it's, you know, it's a fun football movie. If you ever wondered how the NFL draft works, this will answer your questions. I feel like we haven't seen Kevin Costner in a movie recently. He, is an, this, he has four this year because oh, Hatfield wow. said, Well, now's your chance. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the season of the Kevin Costner. Another movie out, a horror movie, Oculus. Tell us about that movie. Yes, well, this is from the prolific horror producer Jason Blum. He did Paranormal Activity, Insidious, uh, the, the Purge films. That sequel's coming out later this summer. And uh, you're seeing Karen Gillan there from Doctor Who for Doctor Who fans. Uh, so I think that. This is really a, a film that I think uh, film students would enjoy or aspiring filmmakers. But beyond that, it's, it's, it's not quite up there with the other horror films that have come out lately. All right, and then one for the entire family is going to be Rio 2. How's the sequel compared to the first one? It's not as good. It's okay. a little too crowded. But it's beautiful and like that. 3D, the scenes that you're seeing there are just stunning. I had a smile on my face for a good portion of this film. Uh, so it's certainly, an, uh, again, you have a lot of choices this weekend to pass the time. Nothing you must see, but stuff that you could see. All right, and the question we like to ask you every Friday, if you have to pick one movie, which one would it be? Rio 2 and 3D, because it's the most theater-worthy experience. All right, All right, yeah, it seems like it's worth seeing it in 3D if you can, rather than wait for it to come out on your DVDs. There you go. Exactly. Great. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful weekend.